Hey guys, Yuri K here. In today's video, I will be discussing the topic of muscle fibers. I will be breaking down the different muscle fiber types and how they impact us in our physical performance during exercise and as athletes. There are two main muscle fiber types that we possess in our skeletal muscles. Those are slow twitch fibers, also known as type A, and fast twitch fibers, also known as type B. Fast twitch fibers can further be subcategorized into two areas as type 2A and type 2B. Skeletal muscles are made up of individual muscle fibers known as myocytes, which aid in the contraction and flexion of our muscles. The differences in our muscle fiber types, the slow twitch fibers and the fast twitch fibers, will influence and affect how our muscles will respond to a physical activity exercise and sports, meaning that one type is better suited for certain physical activities versus the other. In the average human being, we have a genetic makeup consisting of about 50% each of slow twitch and fast twitch fibers in about equal proportions. However, athletes that excel in certain sports will generally have a higher percentage of a certain kind of muscle fiber versus the other. So what exactly are the differences? Slow twitch muscle fibers are efficient at utilizing oxygen as a source of energy. And so slow twitch fibers, hence the name, will fire more slowly than fast twitch fibers. And these muscles will fatigue much slower and will be able to be used for a much longer period of time before they get tired. And so this kind of aerobic exercise is much more suited for long duration kind of activities such as marathon running. Fast twitch muscle fibers, on the other hand, are used for the opposite purpose. They are used to provide quick bursts of speed and power in order to give the muscles the maximum amount of force that it can produce over a short period of time. And in order to provide energy, these muscles use glycogen, which is the glucose that is stored in the skeletal muscles as a reserve for energy. And because these muscles fire much faster and with a lot more intensity, they will also fatigue more quickly and can only be used for short periods of time. These kinds of exercises are best suited for anaerobic purposes, such as sprinting as well as weightlifting. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, fast twitch muscle fibers are further categorized into types A and B. Type A is basically intermediate twitch fibers, which use a combination of slow twitch and fast twitch fibers, and so can utilize both aerobic and anaerobic capacity kind of exercise. Whereas the type B fast twitch fibers are your classic fast twitch fibers, which are anaerobic and only utilized for short bursts, again, of high intensity power and speed kind of exercises and therefore will last only a short time and fatigue quickly. Now if you analyze the physical composition of athletes you will see that there is a dominant type of muscle fiber depending on what kind of exercise they excel in. So for example the long distance marathon runners again or anything that is long duration these athletes are going to have predominantly slow twitch muscle fibers as high as an 80% to 20% ratio to uh, fast twitch fibers. Whereas the elite sprinters and weightlifters may actually have 80% fast twitch and 20% slow twitch, and therefore are much more efficient at that kind of exercise that they excel in. So it is no wonder, for example, when looking at runners and looking at their physical build, the marathon runners will have a long, lanky build with little muscle and low body fat levels whereas the sprinters are going to have a well muscled body that is capable of producing a lot of force over a short period of time with a lean body as well. Now each person when born is going to have a unique genetic makeup comprised of a certain percentage of muscle fibers and as a result this is going to more or less help determine what particular activity or sport that person will excel in. However, it is not the sole determining factor. A lot of other factors come into play as an athlete, such as mental preparation, proper nutrition, 
hydration, getting enough rest, as well as conditioning. And not only that, it is possible that we may actually have the ability to change our muscle fiber types based on the kind of activity that we perform over a long period of time. For example, if one is born with a higher percentage of slow twitch fibers, meaning they are more predisposed to being a long distance runner, if they begin weight training early and weight train consistently over a long period of time over many years, they may actually begin to convert some of the slow twitch fibers into fast twitch fibers and thus become better at the sport that they're consistently performing. So even though each person is born with a certain amount of slow twitch versus fast twitch fibers, they may actually be able to change that number in their favor depending on the exercise that they're performing. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. And remember to follow me on Instagram down in the info box below at yurik0877. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.